Hey there guys, before this video officially starts, I would like to explain why I have re-uploaded this video. In my previous video was a gameplay of which I have apparently been flagged for. But I f if I can say I haven't done anything wrong. Before I put the gameplay in my video, I asked the owner of the video if I can use it in my video. He said, yeah sure, use it for as long as you give me credit for. So I said, great. A few days later, I recognized that the gameplay was not from that guy, but he copied from an original video from original content owner. Therefore, original content owner had flagged my video and got me a copyright strike. So again, I'm the one who got screwed and didn't know what to think. Well, that's my reason why I have re-uploaded this video, to show you all the webs in the beta, because it was a good video. Please leave the same rating as you did before, as if you haven't watched this video or if you watch this video, please leave the same rating, I will much appreciate and leave the same comment as you did before, so we can continue with this video without any issues or so. So now let's continue with the original video. Hey there guys, GamersX here with some really interesting news about Medal of Honor Warfighter. Tomorrow the beta will be released for Xbox 360 players with gold membership. And when I was searching Battlelog for some Medal of Honor stats, which you can actually do now if you don't know, Battlefield 3 Battlelog is merged with Medal of Honor Warfighter tracking system. So today I would like to reveal all of those weapons to you and also would like your opinion if you prefer those weapons in the game or if you don't want and why not. Also share us your thoughts if there is a weapon you would like to see in Metal Phone Warfighter and it's not scheduled to be in the game. In the game there will be a total of 56 weapons to choose from. I will quickly do a detour from through all of them and if you enjoyed this video I will definitely make more of Warfighter when it comes out. I will be doing a full review of weapon guys and which I can include also include real life weapon statistics of those weapons so don't miss that out in the future. Weapons can be unlocked for a determined time of playtime with a certain class type for each weapon. So let's go through all of those weapons. So first let's go through the weapons which can be used by Assaulter class. There are a total of 7 weapons available for this class. Also inside the class system there are some weapons with different setting on them for different world operatives. So let's see those weapons. The first one, HK G3, has 2 set settings and can be unlocked by 3 different special forces. The next one, DD M4 V1, has 2 settings on the weapon and can be unlocked by British SAS and Korean SEAL forces and the US OGA forces. The next one, EBR, has two settings, unlocked by two special forces. The next one, HK416, can be unlocked by Polish Grom, US Navy SEAL and US SVOD Demolition Squad. Moving on, on the next class is the Pointman class and its weapons. The first one is AK5, which can be unlocked by Swedish SOG. The next one has two settings, the different settings, F88 or in the other words Star Oak, which we already all know, can be unlocked by three different worldwide operatives, Norwegian FSK and Australian SASR and the British SAS Special Forces. The next one is AK-13, which actually has three different settings of the weapon, which can be unlocked by Polish Grom Special Forces, the US OGA and the Russian Spetsnaz Group. The next weapon I don't actually know how to pronounce correctly, I think it's Loro OBR 5.56 weapon, which has di 4 different unlockable weapons, unlocked by 5 types of special forces, the Korean SEAL forces, the US Navy SEAL forces, the German KSK forces, the Canadian JTF-2 forces and the US SVOD demolition squad. So moving on to the next class, the heavy gunner weapon for certain nations. The next weapon, M249, is actually very popular because it's used in five specific special forces worldwide. The Swedish SOG, the US OGA, the Canadian Special Forces, the Korean, the Polish Grom and the Russian Spetsnaz Alpha Group. The next one is HKMG4, which can be unlocked by German KSK and Australian SASR forces. The M249 is a very popular heavy machine gun between heavy gunner class system because it's used in three special forces worldwide. The US, the US Navy SEAL forces, the US Army SVOD demolition squad and the British SAS also with Norwegian FSK HAK. Also the weapon we can't forget about is the, is the PKP which can be obtained by Russia's Spetsnaz group. Moving on, on the next class is the Spec Ops class, which is one of my favorites in the game. Uh, and it has, let us see, nine different variables of the weapons. 
The Heckler and Krak G36 has three different variable weapons in the game, unlocked by three special forces, the Australian, the German and the Norwegian nation special forces. The AK-103 Bullpup is unlocked by two special forces, the Polish and the Russia Spetsnaz group. The DD MK-18, which is very popular between army soldiers, is unlocked by five Canadian I mean, sorry, four special forces worldwide, the Canadian, the Swedish, the SAS British and the US Army Demolition Squad. The last in this class is the MP7, unlocked by US Navy SEAL, the Korean SEAL forces and the US OGA forces. The sniper class also has a lot of popular and powerful weapons, the first one TAC-300, unlocked by Swedish SOG, the Korean, the Navy SEALs and the Russia Spetsnaz group. The CS5 can be unlocked by three different worldwide op operatives, Norwegian, British and the US OGA forces. The next one is OBR, which is actually 7.6mm weapon, unlocked by Australian and US Army SVOD demolition squad. The TAC-50 is a little brother of TAC-300, if so, I know. It's unlocked by three special forces worldwide, German, Polish and Canadian special forces. That was all in sniper class, which I am very excited for. Let's go, moving on, the militia squad. The first one weapon is HK416C and can be unlocked by four special operatives worldwide. Polish, Grom, Canadian, German KSK and British SAS group. The AK-74U can be unlocked by Russia Spetsnaz group and the Korean UDT SEAL forces. The AA-12 shotgun can be unlocked by Australian SAS ARS forces, the US Navy SEAL and Swedish SOG forces. And the last weapon in the game, MK-16 PDW, unlocked by Norwegian FSK forces, the US OGA and the US Army SVOD demolition squad. So those were all of the weapons. I hope you didn't get confused by all of those names, spec ops names and weapon names and so on, but there isn't other way to tell you which weapon can be unlocked by certain world operative. Well, those were all of the weapons which will be at your disposal in the full game and also in the beta. I will much appreciate your rating because this project was really difficult to create and because there are so many variations of those weapons in the game, I'm really confused right now. So I hope you are excited to get your Medal of Honor copy in your hands on the October 23rd in USA and October 26th in Europe. I will also much appreciate your support as a new subscriber if you enjoyed this video and plan to watch my next Medal of Honor Warfighter, Weapon Guides and more. Until then, we will see you next time in the next video. See ya.